we're going to prove the theorem vertical angles are congruent. We have given a pair of vertical angles. What do we want to prove? That they're congruent. Looking at the drawing, we have two lines that cross each other. Angles 1 and 3 are vertical. So what's given? That 1 and 3 are vertical. What do we want to prove? That 1 and 3 are congruent. On these two lines that are crossing, we have angles 1, 2, and 3. So now we're going to set up the proof with statements and reasons. Um, the first statement that we make is looking at the drawing is that angles 1 and 2, which you can notice, make a straight line. So angles 1 and 2 together equals 180 degrees. Here on the left side of the statement we have angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180. Look at the drawing again. Notice this other line. Angles 2 and 3 are also a straight line. Angles 2 and 3 are also 180. That's part of the same statement. So looking at the statement right here, angle 2, the measurement of angle 2 plus the measurement of angle 3 equals 180. These two facts are really just the reason angle addition postulate because you know that when you add two angles, you get the sum of both. That's the angle addition postulate. Next, because 1 and 2 equals to 180 and angle 2 and 3 are also equals to 180 then we can say that those two on the top are equals to these two on the bottom that's the next step we say angles 1 and 2 equals to angles 2 and 3 and that's the substitution property because we substituted these two facts into one next Notice that they both share angle 2 on the left side and the right side of the equation. So we have angle 2 equals to angle 2. How come this is true? Because of the reflexive property. An angle equals to itself. Now, if angle 2 equals to itself and they both share angle 2, we can subtract that angle from both sides. And that will lead us into our next step. Look at the left side, angles, and step two, the measurement of angle one and the measurement of angle two together are equal to angle two and angle three. If you subtract angle two from the left side, you're left with angle one. If you subtract angle two from the right side, you're left with angle three. And that was here the reason, subtraction property of equality. And that is what I wanted to prove. Looking back at the top, I wanted to prove that angle 1 was equal to angle 3, knowing that they were congruent. So, at the bottom, this is our proof, and that's the end of the proof.